some of you might have looked at this and been like, oh, that's a compound angle, and then you might have been tempted to go expand it, something like this, right? But now this wouldn't be wrong, but this isn't what you want to do for this. When you have a situation like this, then that's going to be a good thing. All that you need to do now is you need to find your reference angle. You know, when you say shift sin 0 0.4, and so if you had to go do that, your reference angle for this one will be 23.58 degrees. Then what I like to do is I then go and I, I see, okay, so it says sin, and it's saying that sin must be something that is positive. So what I do is I then go divide my page in half, and I think about my cast diagram, and I know that sin is positive, in these two quadrants. So this will be quadrant one, and this would be quadrant two. Then I start with whatever's in this bracket over here, so it'll be x minus 20, and then on the same side for the, this one. Now, in quadrant one, you don't have 180 minus, or 180 plus, or 360 minus. You can just go straight to the reference angle, and then we must always remember to say plus k times 360, k is an element of z. If your teacher or at your school, if they use n over here, then just use n. It doesn't really matter. It's just a letter. So please do whatever is comfortable for you. And then in quadrant number two, we know that that's the 180 minus quadrant. So we're going to say 180 minus the reference angle, then plus k times 360, and then once again, k is an element of z. So annoying how we have to write that the whole time. Now, for this one on the left, I'm just going to solve it by taking the 20 over, and that would eventually give you this. And then on the right-hand side, if I took the 20 over and I combined all of this together, you should eventually end up with 176. 0.42, and then we say plus k times 360, k is an element of z.